Welcome to the Creative Pugsa. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create an old Western Wanted poster in Affinity Photo. We'll be doing this in Affinity Photo version 2. You can also do this in the original Affinity Photo. First, go to File New. Go to Print and select the A4 document size. Then select Portrait Mode. Go to Layout and set the document units to inches. Then click Create. Next, go to File Open. Select the image of the old paper texture and drag it onto the document. In the Transform panel, turn on the Lock Aspect Ratio. Then grab the Move tool. Take the tool and resize the paper texture to cover the document like you see it on the screen. Click the Lock icon to lock the background. Now go to the Layers panel. Click the Adjustments icon. Select the Levels Adjustment. Set the black level to 15% and the white level to 92%. Make sure the adjustment layer is above the background layer. After that, grab the Artistic Text tool from the Tools panel. Go to the Font family and select the Old Town font you downloaded earlier. Now, take the tool and click on the document at the top. In all caps, type WANTED. Center the text the way you see it on the screen. Set the font size to 146 points. With the Artistic Text tool still active, go to the Context toolbar and click on the A icon for the Character panel. Go to the Tracking and set it to 30%. Then close the panel. Center the text at the top of the document. Once you've done that, take the Artistic Text tool again. Click below the Wanted text and type DEAD OR ALIVE in all caps. Select the text. Go to the Font family and select the Marlboro font. Set the size of the text to 58 points and put the text below the Wanted text. Next, grab the Rectangle tool from the Tools panel. Take the tool and draw a rectangle that's 4 inches by 6 inches. Then place the rectangle where you see it on the document. Get rid of the stroke color and the fill color. Now go to File Open and select the image of the man. Drag the image onto the document. In the Layers panel, drag the image layer into the rectangle and resize and rearrange the image the way you see it on the screen. Make sure the Lock Aspect Ratio is on in the Transform panel first. After that, select the image. In the Layers panel, select the FX Layers Effects icon. Check the Color Overlay box and select it. Go to the Color box. Select the RGB hex sliders and enter the following hex number. D7BF86. Set the Blend Mode to Color. With the image still selected, go to the Layers panel and click the Live Filters icon. Set the intensity to 15% and check the monochromatic box and select Gaussian. Make sure the filter is inside of the image layer in the Layers panel. Select the image. Then select the Adjustments icon and click the Curves Adjustment. Drag the point on the right down some. Take the point on the left and drag it in some to the right. After that, click and add a point in the middle. Drag it down and slightly to the right. We want to darken the image some so that it's not brighter than the paper. Try to match the brightness of the picture to that of the paper. Now grab the Artistic Text tool from the Tools panel. Take the tool and click on the left side of the image. Type $6,000. Set the text to the Marlboro font. Press Ctrl and J to make a copy of this text. Then drag the duplicated text below the original. Select the duplicated text and type for the capture in all caps. After that, press Ctrl and J again on this text layer. Take the new duplicated text and place it below the previous one. Select the text and type of the man who in all caps. Once you've done that, grab the move tool. Press Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy of this text below the previous one. Select the text and type rob the bank in all caps. Grab the Artistic Text tool and click below the last text layer. Type AT in all caps. 
With this text layer selected, press Ctrl and J to duplicate this text. Move the text layer where you see it on the screen. Select the text and type Sheridan. Once you've done this, press Ctrl and J to duplicate this text. Then move this text layer below its original one. Type WY in caps for Wyoming and place the text where you see it on the screen. Next, grab the Move tool. Select the three text layers between the $6,000 and the at text. Then press Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy of these text layers to the right side of the image. Select the first text layer we move to the side. Type 6 feet 0 inches tall. With this text layer selected, press Ctrl and Enter to change the text layer to curves. It will create a group in the Layers panel. Now click the second text layer. Select the words and type Medium Build in all caps. Select the third text layer. Select the text. Then type Brown Eyes in all caps. Once you've done that, grab the Artistic Text tool. Take the tool and click below the picture. In all caps, type the name Clay Boone. Place the text layer two spaces from the picture and center it. Grab the Artistic Text tool again. Click below Clay Boone's name and type $6,000. Set the font size to 68 points and place this text eight spaces below the name. Now grab the Move tool. Take the tool and press Ctrl and Shift. Then drag a copy of the $6,000 text layer below the original one. Select the duplicated layer and type REWARD in all caps. Now select the text and go to the font family. Change the font to the Old Town font. I set the text to about 91 points. After that, grab the Artistic Text tool. Click and place the tool on the left side of the $6,000 text layer. In all caps, type Notorious Robber Of. With the text layer selected, grab the Move tool. Then press Ctrl and Shift and drag a duplicate of this text layer below the original one. Select the text and type Banks and Trains in all caps. Grab the Artistic Text tool. Take the tool and click beneath reward. In all caps, type contact sheriff, comma, Sheridan County, comma, Wyoming. Set the font size to 18 points and center the text. Now take the move tool and select the text layer we just created. Press Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy of the text layer to the right side. Select the text and type the date May 12, 1880. Set the font size to 16 points. In the Layers panel, select all the layers. Then right-click on the selected layers and click Merge Visible. Now turn off all the other layers in the Layers panel. After that, select the Merged layer. Then go to File Export and save the poster. Now go to File Open and select the image of the saloon you downloaded earlier. Press the C key to activate the Crop tool. Crop the image the way you see it on the screen. The main thing we want to focus on in this image is the side of the building of the saloon because this is where we'll add the wanted poster. Once you have sized the image, hit apply to apply the crop. Now we're going to age this picture a little. Go to the layers panel and click the adjustments icon and select the black and white adjustment. Make sure the adjustment layer is embedded inside the image layer. Lower the red to 70%, the yellow to 21%, the cyan to 40%, and the blue to 45%. Then increase the magenta to 126%. Set the blend mode of this layer to average. Now select the image, then click the adjustments icon again. Select the curves adjustment. Go to the red channel. Select the point on the left and bring it up slightly to add some red to the image. Next, add a point in the middle and bring it up some. Make sure this adjustment is also embedded into the image layer above the black and white adjustment. This next part is optional, but I want it to darken the image a little bit. Select the image layer again. Click the adjustments icon and select the levels adjustment. Set the black level to 6%, the gamma to about 1.037, and the output white level to 90%. After that, grab the Rectangle tool from the Tools panel. 
dry rectangle that covers the document. With the rectangle selected, go to the Layers panel and click the FX Layers Effect icon. Check the Color Overlay box and select it. Go to Color. Select the RGB hex sliders. Now enter the following hex code number, AE6312. Then go down to the noise and add some noise to this color. In the Layers panel, lower the opacity of the rectangle to 44% and set the Blend Mode to Screen. Once you've done that, go to File Open. Select the poster image and drag it onto the document. In the Transform panel, turn on the Lock Aspect Ratio. Now grab the Move tool and resize the image, making it smaller. Place the poster on the side of the saloon's building where you see it on the screen. Now go to the Tools panel and select the Perspective tool. Grab the node in the top right corner. Bring this node down some until it is on the side of the saloon's building. You can use the lines from the wood panels of the saloon to help you line up the poster to the wall. Another optional thing you can do is distort the poster by adding a displace filter to it. In Affinity Photo 2, you can now add a displacement filter as a live filter, which allows you to make changes non-destructively. To do this, select the poster layer. Next, click the Live Filters icon in the Layers panel and select Displace. Make sure the filter layer is embedded into the poster layer. Check the Preserve Alpha box and the Scale to Fit box. In the Load method, make sure Red slash Green Offset is selected. Then, select Load Map from Layers Beneath. Once you've done that, you can play around with the strength and set it to your liking. I set the strength to negative 9 pixels. After you set the strength, lower the opacity so the poster isn't too distorted. I set the opacity to 20%. If you don't have Affinity Photo 2, you can still add a displacement to this, but it will be destructive. So decide whether or not you really want to use this. Then if you do, select the poster layer. Then go to Filters, Distort, Displace. Next, select Load Map from Layers Beneath and set the strength to something like negative one pixels or one pixel and hit Apply. And this is how to create an old Western Wanted poster in Affinity Photo. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, press the bell icon so that you'll be notified when new videos are posted.